Right, welcome to this week's weekly challenges in Gran Turismo 7. So, this is October week 4 and we have 5 events to complete to win 3 brand new prizes. And this week, it's all credit tickets. So, we have one for 100,000 credits, 200,000 credits and lastly, 500,000 credits. So, with the prizes over and done with, let's head on straight to the event. So, the first event is a European Clubman Cup around Blue Moon Bay. Now, this is the infield layout reverse. So, with this event, it's four laps. You're starting off in 20th position and you have to use a road car from any European country. Now, for me, I jumped into my Porsche Cayman GT4 and absolutely knocked this event out of the park. Now I did try it in a Mercedes-Benz AMG GTR that was detuned to 600 performance points but I absolutely struggled with the event until I jumped into my Cayman which just made this event an absolute piece of cake. So this event was not that difficult once I chose the right vehicle. So vehicle choice on this event is crucial. But at the same time, there is no restriction. If you want to jump into the fastest vehicle that you own, that's a road car in European, you can do that. You can jump into Bugatti Chiron and knock this event out if you want to. But if you want to keep it competitive, try to stay around the 600 performance point mark. Now, talking about competitive, well, we have the second event, which is an American Clubman Cup 700 around Laguna Seca. Now, this is a 5-lap event, you're starting off in 12th position, and well, for car type, you are restricted to a road car or professionally tuned, and your vehicle has to be from the good old United States. So, for me, I jumped into the GTO Judge. That was my go to. The vehicle is, is tuned to 699 performance points, making it quite competitive in this event because the suggested performance points rating is 700 performance points. So the GTO was an absolute handful, but in a good way. The vehicle was fun, tons of power, and going around corners, it wasn't. It was a lot to handle, but coming down the straightaway, you could really feel the horsepower just push you down the straightaway. Honestly, enjoy this event so much using the Pontiac GTO the Judge. And if you're looking for a vehicle to use, honestly, I highly recommend that one. Now, moving on to the third event, we see a Ferrari Circuit Challenge. Now, this is a five lap event, and you have a performance points cap of 700 performance points so this event well i was gonna say it's tricky but genuinely it's not for me i jumped into the ferrari 308 gtb from 1975 and i mean it's obviously has to be under 700 performance points but the vehicle is so fun to drive the thing is, it doesn't have the most power, it only has 406 brake horsepower, but it's extremely lightweight and great around the corners. And this vehicle is just fantastic to drive, and even though Monza is mainly B straightways, it really makes up a lot of time when it comes to a cornering and the slow, sharp corners that Monza provides. So, this vehicle was an absolutely great choice. On the hardest difficulty, it was just perfect. I had no issue with it and enjoyed every single minute of it. Then, for the fourth event, we have the World Rally Challenge. Now, this is for a Group B class, and we see well, firstly, the event is 10 laps, you're starting off in 12th position. Fuel consumption and tire wear do apply for this event. So, for me, I jumped into the Audi Quattro Pikes Peak Special and I use the vehicle on racing hard tires. But that's the thing, this event has dynamic weather. So I did have to end up diving into a pit to then change on over to racing intermediates because the surface did start getting a bit wet. And the thing is, as the event progressed, it still dried up. So the change of weather was something I was not expecting with this event and it added such a fun and more exciting experience because 
you just had to play around with it but the audi quattro was more than capable to get this event done and get it done quite easily so i was quite happy and pleased with this event and well it's just a really good event i just wish the pay was a bit higher then lastly we move on to our special event now this is a special event for this week and it is a dtm style event as we see some of europe's fastest scoring cars we have the bmw m3 sports evolution the alfa romeo 155 2.5 v6 ti the mercedes benz 190e 2.516 evolution 2 as well as the ford sierra rs 500 coswood all tackling catalonia gp layout that is the circuit that the event is going to be occurring on you are starting off in 19 position you have eight laps to do it in and the thing is with this event you can jump into whatever vehicle you want there's no restrictions if you think okay you know what i want to jump into a dodge Tomo vision gt and just bang out this event as fast as possible you can do exactly that but you're kind of missing the entire point of this event and what makes it special so for me i jumped into the mercedes-benz 190e and mine is engine swap with the engine from the amg touring car which did help out quite a bit and just made the vehicle i'll be honest with you quite sketchy to drive but super fun at the same time it was a really good experience seeing vehicles from the same time period and just competing in close racing around the circuit so eight laps is more than enough to complete it you get 150,000 credits for completing it so overall not too shabby of an event if i had to pick an event of the week i will be real with you and i'm gonna say the ferrari circuit challenge i know the dtm series is the special event it's supposed to be the best event but for me out of just pure driving experience and just having fun i just preferred the ferrari circuit challenge i know it's a hot take and people may not agree with me but hey i want to know your thoughts and opinions of this week's events in the comment section down below and well with what has been said I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, all the tunes are going to be posted in the video. Peace.